he remarked, on behalf of the Association of Politicians Who Killed Women With a Car, I hereby welcome Caitlyn Jenner to our club. <laughs> what? What else he talking about? You didn't know Caitlyn Jenner killed somebody? No, I knew uh, Mrs. George W. Bush killed somebody, but uh, that way back when. Caitlyn Jenner was involved in some sort of car crash. It was ruled as not his her fault. Oh, well, and then it's, then it's a, a very different then from Ted Kennedy's car crash, isn't it? There was no sobriety test administered. Oh, okay. All right. It's de- more Democrat dirty tricks on the chump line here. On the bright side, half of the unfilled 7 million jobs are with the IRS's newly expanded auditing division. Right. What did, what did he say? He wants to spend another $80 billion on the IRS? That's, that's a great use of money. I, w- I wonder uh, how long it's going to be before you have to put on your party affiliation on the, uh, on the income tax forms. The Chump Line is brought to you by Matthews Brothers, America's oldest window manufacturer. This week, reflecting on the necktie, which in the 17th century had the function of securing soldiers' capes to their necks. King Louis XIII liked them so much he declared that everyone must wear them. It only took centuries before casual Friday changed all that. Centuries. Oy vey. Hey, you know, two trillion here, three trillion there. Pretty soon, we're going to be talking some real money. Yeah, I know. That was uh, the late Senator Everett Dirksen of uh, of Illinois. He used to say, a uh, billion here, a billion there. Pretty soon you're talking real money. Now, uh, oh, we have a Ted Cruz cut, actually. Joe this. Biden, when they let him out of the basement, <laughs> and he teams up with Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer, they are losing it. They are spending money like crazy. Dear God, please, nobody tell the Democrats what comes after a trillion. (laughs) Pretty good line, Ted. When the Green New Deal is implemented, Center of Locust will be the new name for your local supermarket's meat counter. At least we can cook the locust in our American rescue pan. Yes, I'd like to get a nice cut of trange at the Center of Locust. To put into my to my Ameri- Ameriscan rescue pan. Well, the epic failure of the Biden administration jobs report was certainly disappointing, and the and the rise in unemployment was definitely unexpected. <laughs> uh, but uh, don't worry, folks, we'll just do more government spending. <laughs> That's right. That's right. The jobs report is too bad to be true. The economy will be fine. The recovery hasn't run out of gas, says the Boston Globe. It's understandable. It's going to take some time. You're not just going to snap your fingers and get everyone back to work, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Pretty soon there'll be a shortage of now hiring signs because they can't hire enough people to make them. Yeah, as a texter said earlier, you know, you want to make some money, uh, get into the business of making help-wanted signs. The Chinese are eating our lunch. Don't let them come after our tapioca. Yeah. Joe is back home in in uh, Delaware now. He's uh, he's watching the uh, Hazel, the Hazel uh, binge. He's binging on Hazels, and then he's going to have some uh, Matlocks later on tonight if he's uh, able to stay awake past 7 o'clock at night. Joe Biden has given us the Yogi Berra economy. The economy is growing, but no one's hiring. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Yogi used to say, uh, nobody go- to about a restaurant, nobody goes there anymore. It's too crowded. Come on, Howie. You really don't want to subject me to job lock, do you? Yeah, I know. That was what uh, Nancy Pelosi said when Obamacare was passed. Remember that? She said this frees workers from job lock so they can go about really important things like becoming poets. Okay. Okay, Nancy. And shortly thereafter, she was the former speaker. Let's hope it happens again. 
With this president, the only thing coming back is the Great Depression. Yeah, I... I don't know what the I don't know how this is going to play out. I don't know if it'll be a depression, but I tell you, stagflation in the late 1970s and early 1980s was bad enough. I don't I don't want it to get any. I I don't want to know how much worse it could get. Howie, those numbers are fake. I know for a fact. Joe Biden added three million of jobs to the economy. I consider welfare a government job. Yeah, he certainly considers it a government job. There's 4 million people out of work who were working before the panic was uh, was fomented last year. So there's 7 million jobs, 7.4 million jobs unfilled going wanting, and there are 4 million people who apparently aren't looking for jobs. So you're right, they're on they're on the government Dole, if not payroll. But Dole rhymes with payroll. I was trying to find a happy birthing person's day card, but I can't seem to locate one. Could you help me? I know someone sent me a uh, an email today from uh, one of the local public school systems in suburban Boston, and it said, uh, you know, some people celebrate Mother's Day this week and Father's Day next month, but... Here in this school system, we're very woke. They didn't use that word woke, but that's what they meant. We celebrate Parents' Day. Parents' Day. It's going to be in between Mother's Day and Father's Day. Maybe next year it'll be birthing Parents' Day. That was your last chump line message. Thank you for calling Howie Carr, you chump. That's it for the Chump Line. The Chump Line is the recorded voicemail message service of the Howie Car Show. You can call and leave a message anytime between the hours of 1 and 4 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time on weekdays. The number to call is 844-500-4242. Press 2 for the Chump Line. Leave your message. We may or may not play it at this time each weekday. And if you didn't hear your message or you just want to hear more Chump Line messages that are that are not played right now, go to Chopped Chumps. That's the leftover extra surplus chump line messages. We post them, Chopped Chumps, at around 7 o'clock Eastern time every weeknight. Get Chopped Chumps wherever you get your Howie Car Show podcast. The Chump Line is brought to you by Matthews Brothers, America's oldest window manufacturer. This week, reflecting on the necktie, which in the 17th century had the function of securing soldiers' capes to their necks. King Louis XIII liked them so much he decreed everyone must wear one. It took centuries before Casual Friday changed all that. Centuries. Oy vey. Well, the epic failure of the Biden administration jobs report was certainly disappointing, and the and the rise in unemployment was definitely unexpected. Uh, but uh, don't worry, folks, we'll just do more government spending. <laughs> yeah, that'll make everything better. Uh, that that will improve everything. Let's just let's just put on a couple more overtime shifts at the uh, at, at the uh, U.S. Treasury to print more more money, more legal tender. In God we trust. Why buy gold? Are you watching what is happening in the world today? Global pandemic, U.S. debt piling up, spiking inflation, and now the looming Biden tax plan? In the 2008 financial crisis, many Americans lost a large portion of their retirement savings. So what are you doing now to protect your money? Well, many turn to Gold Co., the leading gold IRA company in the U.S. and four-time Inc. 500 winning company. With an A-plus rating from the Better Business Bureau and thousands of five-star customer reviews, you can trust the team at GoldCo to help you protect and grow your wealth. Go to goldco.com slash howiecar to request your free IRA guide that uncovers the secret that financial advisors won't tell you. So, what are you waiting for? Don't delay and fall victim to another stock market crash, inflation hike, or dollar decline. Visit goldco.com slash Howie Carr to get your free IRA guide today. If you visit goldco.com slash Howie Carr now, Goldco will give you up to $10,000 in free silver when you open a qualifying account. That's right, up to $10,000 in free silver. I'm Howie Carr. 
You're listening to the Howie Carr Radio Network.